everyone, my name is Becky, and today I'm going to be doing a slightly different video. Um, today I wanted to do a bookish product shop review slash shout out video. I do want to preface it right now that the company I am uh, doing this video for is Malamer.com, and I am currently a rep for them for the month of August, which means that all month long you can use my code CCBOOKS15 and save 15% on all of your orders. Um, this is just a referral code. This is not an affiliate link. I do not make any commission off of this. Amber asked me if I would consider putting a video like this together, but I'm under no monetary obligations. I am not being paid for this. Um, this these are honestly my 100% honest opinions. And I also just wanted to get the word out. There are so many bookish companies out there that I plan on doing this with other companies as well. So this is kind of the start of a series almost. I don't know, I just figured that with so many items on the market, I think that you guys deserve to know at least what I like and make your decisions from there. So this uh, company right here is a bookish jewelry company. So as you can see, this gorgeous choker I am wearing is actually a new piece I just got in the mail for today. This is a pirate um, inspired choker with a ship's wheel in the middle. So as you can see, this is what it looks like on the neck. It's a really flattering dual choker. I was a bit worried about how it would look, but I am really satisfied with it. I personally do love wearing chokers. I do prefer wearing longer necklaces. I only wear these once in a while. But I figured this would be a really fun necklace for when I have uh, either pirate costumes, I dress up as a pirate for the Renaissance Fair every year, or if I'm just feeling in one of those uh, moods where I just feel like having a more edgy style or edgy outfit. So I figured this was a really fun choice. I do have several other necklaces as well. I figured I would show for you guys. Uh, this necklace is one of my personal favorites. This is an Ursula inspired necklace right over here. And so as you guys can see, it is Ursula's seashell. This is the seashell necklace that Ursula wears um, throughout the entirety of The Little Mermaid. And I am so happy to have my hands on this. I love Ursula. She's by far one of my favorite, if not my absolute favorite, Disney villain. And so I am so happy to have a necklace inspired by her. I'm actually thinking about doing Ursula for Halloween this year. So I'm so excited that I already have this piece. Um, and this is a piece I did purchase myself along with the other necklaces. Some of them I did get free for being her rep for the month of August. Everything else from her company I did purchase with my own money. So this is one of the items I did purchase on my own. This necklace is my other favorite from Amber's shop. It's just a gorgeous garden fairy. I absolutely adore how this one looks on the skin. I love the length of this necklace. Um, my only uh, thing I do not like about this necklace is that ribbon used for uh, the neck moves around a lot so you get the back that does come forward. Also this portion right over here gets caught in my hair a lot. Um, my hair is on the thicker curly side so if it gets humid and my hair starts to curl a little bit it will get tangled up in there. Um, it's a more minor thing that doesn't happen all the time. I have knows it happened a couple times though. But other than that, this is definitely one of my favorites. I wear this one and the Ursula necklace a lot. These are definitely the two that I probably wear the most, but I love them so much. Another one of my favorite necklaces is this one right over here. This is one that I don't wear all that often, although I like taking uh, pictures with it. And it is this one right over here. It is this wonderful doe next to a charm that says always with a heart. This is a very clear Harry Potter inspired necklace. I personally love this quote so much. It's by far my one of my top five favorite Harry Potter quotes of all time. And I absolutely love this necklace. So I like using this one as a prop in my bookstagram pictures a little bit more. Um, this necklace wears a little low on the neck for my taste. But overall, I do really like it. There are some outfits where this does complement it very nicely, especially if I am doing a Harry Potter inspired video or if I'm just in the mood to show some of my Harry Potter pride. But I am really, really happy to have this one in my collection. I have not seen versions of this one other places. The other ones I have is like a Deathly Hollow symbol or a Time Turner, which you can get from almost any bookish shop. This is not one on the other hand that's a lot more unique which is definitely why I like it as much as I do. 
So this is a much more subtle necklace over here. This is one that I did not order, but Amber was so kind to um, put in my first order. It, it is um, a small book necklace. It has an open book on it with a very subtle charm. I love how simple and small this necklace is. While I do wear a lot of bigger necklaces, as you guys can see from the other pieces, I do really enjoy how this one's a much more subtle necklace, especially if you have a uh, louder outfit on or if you're just in the mood for something subtle and, you know, almost a barely there style necklace. I also know a lot of people that do like these more simplistic, smaller necklaces. I do not know 100% this one is on sale on the website. Last time I checked, I did not see it. If so, um, I will leave more information about that on the screen for you guys, but yeah, really like this one though, really gorgeous. This is another one of my favorite necklaces here. I absolutely love this moon. It has a quote from the Lord of the Rings in it. I think that this is a very gorgeous necklace. This one has the same rope, I, I, rope yarn design as the Garden Fairy necklace. And I really like this one, so let me do a zoom in for you guys. So as you can see, it says, not all those who wander are lost. This is a very well-known Lord of the Rings, the Hobbit-inspired quote. I love using this necklace for travel. I think it's a really fun um, piece. This is another really lovely statement piece. Um, my critique with this one is the same as the other necklace, that this does uh, move around a lot. So if you are very concerned with having the clasp necklace stay in the back, this one does tend to move. I do have to adjust it throughout the day. Other than that, this is another really lovely one. I love the way that it wears on the neck. I love that it doesn't come down too far. And this is another one that I really like. And the very last necklace I have is this Alice in Wonderland inspired necklace. So let me just zoom you guys in really quick. This Alice in Wonderland necklace is another one. This necklace is definitely a bit on the longer side compared to some of the other necklaces that I like, but it's still an absolutely stunning piece. Um, this is one of the more subtle Alice necklaces I have seen around. It doesn't have a quote on it, it just has the clock with Alice, and it's definitely not one that you would notice right away. Definitely one of the reasons why I like it so much. Now this necklace, the Lord of the Rings necklace, and the book necklace, are the only three that I had, were sent free from Amber. She let me choose um, this one and the Lord of the Rings necklace for my, my rep package when I first started being the rep for her company in August. All of the other necklaces that I showed you are ones I have purchased myself. And I really enjoy them. I think that they're absolutely gorgeous. I think the quality is there. And these necklaces are super affordable. As you guys have seen on the screen, uh, the price for them is definitely worth the product that you're getting. And they get to you really quickly. Amber does hand make all of these pieces herself. And um, yeah, for the most part, I get all of my products within a week of ordering from them, which I really, really like. Um, in addition to necklaces, Amber also just started selling bookmarks as well. And I pre-ordered some of them because I absolutely love them. She had a really fun pre-order deal as well. And all of these bookmarks, like I used to say, I have purchased myself. But these are nice, really fun quality bookmarks. So these are all the bookmarks that I have. They are nice, uh, good quality cardboard bookmarks. They're nice and sturdy, made of a really nice thick cardstock. And the graphic on these are absolutely gorgeous. And these are all designed by Amber herself. So let's go through them together. The first bookmark I have is this really fun Thor bookmark. So the first size says, do you want me to put my hammer down? And then you have the graphic of Thor. And on the back side you have Mjolnir over here and it says, whoever holds this hammer shall possess the power of Thor, which is the um, marking engraved on Mjolnir as well. So really like this. Um, I have said before, Thor is definitely my favorite superhero and I really, really enjoyed this bookmark. The next bookmark I have goes along with Thor and that is this Loki bookmark over here. So really gorgeous, uh, really gorgeous bookmark over here with the Tom Hiddleston inspired silhouette on the side and on the back it says mischief with Loki's helmet on it. 
and I actually like this one so much that I have one for myself to go with the Thor bookmark, but I also purchased a second one for my sister since she is a huge Loki fan. So really like this one, and this is a really vibrant, stunning green, so big fan of this one. The next bookmark I purchased is an Edgar Allan Poe inspired bookmark, so it has this Poe quote on it and says, we love with a love that was more than love. And then on the other side, it says never more in this really gorgeous script. It has a lovely raven on the side over here. While the raven is not my favorite work from Edgar Allan Poe, I definitely appreciate this bookmark and I cannot wait to photograph this one and use it throughout the month of October. All right, the next bookmark I have is actually one I'm surprised it took me so long to get. I realized when going through my Harry Potter collection, I actually have no Luna merch. And as a proud Ravenclaw, I love having items from all of the popular Ravenclaws. And so I had to go and get myself this really lovely Luna Love Good bookmark over here. And so it has this one. It says, Don't worry, you're just as sane as I am. And then the other side, it says, I suspect the Nargles are behind it. And on both sides, it does have Luna's famous glasses on there that she got from the Quibbler. And the next fandom bookmark I have is a Star Wars bookmark. So on one side it has Princess Leia and it says I love you. And on the other side it has Han and it says I know. This is a really fun one with a really fun galaxy design on it. It's a really gorgeous bookmark. It's like I said nice and sturdy. Great for Star Wars fans out there. And the last bookmark I have is one that I got just because I love generic book lover inspired bookmarks. And on this side it says boys and books are better and that is what it says on both sides. And then on the other side it says I mourn the death of fictional characters, which is so true. I still cry every time I watch Harry Potter 7. Every time. But yeah, so really enjoyed this one. and. With all of these bookmarks, I just love the graphics on here, I love the art on here, I think that all of them came out absolutely gorgeous. Um, Amber did a really great job with all of these, so again, I definitely encourage you guys to check out her website, check out these pieces. As you guys saw from the pricing, they are all super duper affordable, they're very good quality. One thing I do want to preface is that I have super duper sensitive skin when it comes to jewelry. I'm actually allergic to brass and any brass plated material and I have been wearing all of these necklaces basically since I started buying them back in July and I have not had any negative reactions to these so these are great for people with sensitive skin and great unique jewelry for people that have bookish fandoms that they want to showcase. I only showed a very, very small supply that Amber does carry on her website. She carry, she caters to so many different fandoms. I will have a list over on the side here of some of the many fandoms that she has catered to in her website that I did not include. I think it's absolutely wonderful. I definitely encourage you guys to check her out. I will have all of her information down in the description box below. And like I did say at the beginning of the video, for the entire month of August, you guys can use my code CCBOOKS15 to save 15% on all of your orders. Again, I make no money from this code. I make no commission from this code. It's just a little something for you guys. And of course, you don't have to be obligated to use my code. And after August, my code won't be there, but her website will still be there. And I definitely recommend it. So thank you all so, so much for hanging out today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, it was something a little different. If you guys want me to keep doing this with other bookish shops, please let me know. Let me know down in the description box any other shops that you think I should check out and do try on review hauls um, with them. Any shout outs, again, just let me know. I have no problem doing them. I have other bookmark companies and candle companies that I would love to showcase on my channel. So. If you want me to, just let me know. Thank you all so, so much for hanging out with me today, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!